16 past, bit of a surprising turn of events back here at home. A contempt vote for the AG Bill Barr scheduled for next week. Could that now be changing? From Bill Barr's team, they write, the committee appears to recognize that the subpoena is unworkably overbroad. To that end, the department is prepared to resume negotiations with the committee regarding accommodation of its narrow subpoena. Senator John Kennedy's on the Senate Judiciary Committee. How are you doing, sir? And good morning well, Bill. to you. The House Judiciary Committee chair is Jerry Nadler, the Democrat from New York. He signals mm -hmm. he's willing to negotiate without conditions. What's up? This is all wicked crazy, and, it, and it's wicked abusive. Look, Congress has, a, has an appropriate oversight role, but you have to have a legitimate legislative purpose. And, and I think it's clear to most Americans that some of my friends in the House leadership have decided just to be abusive. They, they've asked the administration for everything but the kitchen sink at the White House, and they may ask for that. And then when the White House doesn't produce it, or Bill Barr doesn't produce it, all of a sudden they resort to this apocalypticism where, oh, you know, it's the end of Western order and we've got a constitutional crisis. And, and you know, nobody believes that. I mean, there's, the fact of the matter is, and I wish I didn't have to say this, Bill, there's some members of the House leadership whose only mission in life is to demonize the president. And this is, we're going into the third year that they've been throwing a tantrum over the election result. They need to leave the man alone, let him be president. Uh, they can vote against him in a year and a half. They can campaign against him. That's what elections all are their, all about. Listen, Senator, yeah. no offense against you or the others, your job there in Congress, but frankly, it's a little refreshing to see these moments from England and the moments from Normandy that we're going to yeah. watch over the next 24 hours. I mean, talk about sacrifice. All right, come back well, to the issue. Well, that's what it's here. about. Apparently, that's some Republicans are, are miffed at the whole tariff idea with Mexico. Uh, Senator Schumer is as well. He said this on the floor of the Senate on Tuesday. Frankly, I don't believe President Trump will actually go through with the tariffs. President Trump has a habit of talking tough and then retreating because his policies often is tough talk can't be implemented or doesn't make sense. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if President Trump doesn't follow through on these tariffs either. You can expect that to be a response from, from London. Here's the tweet. Can you imagine crying Chuck Schumer saying out loud for all to hear that I'm bluffing with respect to putting tariffs on Mexico? Would it creep? He would rather have our country fail with drugs and immigration than give Republicans a win, but he gave Mexico bad advice. No bluff. You said he's as serious as four heart attacks and a stroke on moving forward. He is. I mean, I, Chuck's wrong on this one. I talked to the president Sunday afternoon. He's very serious. He's, uh, he knows the ultimate answer here and the easy answer. It's right in front of Congress's face. We need to fix the asylum laws. Um, but unfortunately, that doesn't appear to be possible right now. There's a reason that the American people think Congress was born tired and raised lazy. I mean, the, the, the problems are right there in front of our face, and we refuse to do anything about them. So he's talking about tariffs. I'm worried about the tariffs. I worry that the harm to our economy will be greater than the, t the tariff effect on Mexico. Uh, Mexico's our biggest trading partner. We do about $700 billion. That's nine zero dollars worth of uh, business with them every year. Uh, the president's going to be back soon from UK. I'm, I think we're going to get it worked out. Okay, Bill. so we're you, sit you down think, with him and you get think it he's gotten out. the attention of the Mexican government based on the response? Oh, I think so. I think so. They uh, the day after he made his announcement, uh, the president uh, uh, Lopez Obrador's um, top people that, uh, came to America. They're here right now. They're meeting, meeting with the Secretary of State and the VP this morning. Uh, I really think we're going to get this worked out. And if we don't with Mexico, uh, once the president's back, we'll sit down and talk about what our options are in terms of getting our friends in Mexico to try to help us with this crisis. I hope you're right, Senator. Yep. Thank, thank you for talking today. I'm out of time, you bet, but man. I really appreciate yours. Wicked crazy, born tired, raised lazy. There's a country song in there, sir. Come on back, okay? Center John Candy <laughs> okay, from Louisiana. Nice to see you.